Structured and unstructured data sets, what is the difference? So structured and unstructured data sets represent two major classifications of how data can be organized for use. Structured data sets are highly organized and formatted in a way that makes them easy to search and analyze, often stored in relational databases with clearly defined rows and columns. Unstructured data sets, on the other hand, lack the predefined format or structure, making them more complex to analyze, often requiring advanced techniques like natural language processing or machine learning to extract meaning. So what we're saying here is, as the names pretty much explain, a structured data set has a format that is a very structured. It follows a very consistent format for all the data records that are entered into it. So everything must apply by that same format, whether it be through just the way it's laid out or through the data types being used, it's highly consistent. Whereas unstructured data sets are a bit more dynamic. Data's coming in maybe from multiple sources and in different formats. And thus we need to use tools that support us in putting that data all together in order to support our analysis of that data set. So let's take a look into it now. So the first one is the structured data set. And the way to think of this one is it's the organized one. Data that is organized in a fixed predefined format, usually in a tabular layout with identifiable rows and columns. Structured data is has characteristics as being highly organized and easy to store, search and query. Data types and fields are consistent and well defined. So just that's the key things. Highly organized, every, all the data in it is extremely consistent in format and type. Okay, it makes everything very easy to sort through, even not just from the human state, but just from the software itself. Everything is in a nice structured state, making it very easy to analyze. So example include data that's within spreadsheets, such as product data, where there'd be field headings, such as name, price, and quantity of stock. And then we can apply all our analysis to that with formulas and graphs. Easy, you've probably done it before. And then databases as well for storing customer orders. We've got order IDs, products that are actually being ordered by the customer, the dates the orders were made and the dates they probably should arrive. Okay, all that information, both whether in spreadsheet or database format, are pretty much in that tabular format where we might have fields at the top of the screen and every record's a different row. So they are our structured data sets, our organized ones. We'll now go to our unstructured data sets and here things are a bit messier okay i would not use that in an examination saying it that way but that's the way to think about data is just a bit messier in this state okay and this is because data does not have a predefined or organized format often consisting of and might be in combinations of text images or audio okay so we're also dealing with more complex data types as well okay leading to that messiness Unstructured data is characterized as having complex, diverse data types within a data set. Okay, and it re requires those advanced tools that we mentioned before to extract and organize the information of it. Okay, we need the systems to help us collate the information and break it down and digest it for us so that we can analyze those data sets. So examples here include things like social media posts, emails, and multimedia files, okay? Because those can all have those text, the image, the audio, uh, okay, video data, all of that can all be within those specific types of data, okay? A social media post can be on any type of media type. Our email can have attachments of different media types and multimedia is a combination of media types, all right? So they are all example of structured data sets that when collated together okay it leads to quite large data sets of large file sizes as well with those larger media types but then also transcripts of customer service calls and reviews okay uh, they might not follow a consistent format and might all be used in different purposes and analyze different situations so once again it could be unstructured and then we need to move that to a format where it can become structured as well so i hope this video is giving you an understanding of these structured and unstructured data sets and look it is pretty straightforward a, stru a structured data set is highly organized and consistent with our examples being spreadsheets and databases that are traditionally in tabular formats with rows and columns. Okay, our headings at the top of each column that uh, signify all the fields that are in our data set and each row being different records. And then our unstructured data sets, our more messy data sets where data is not as consistently organized within those data sets okay, or, and they don't follow any predefined rules where we have our examples of social media posts and emails and multimedia okay, where we've got 
data in many different formats and many different types and could be of large file sizes that are just that bit harder to analyze and that we need advanced tools such as natural language processing and machine learning to help us extract meaning from those data sets.